Hey, Ross Roberts of Big Water Fishing. We're giving you a few little tips to think about as you know, many of us start fishing in boats, believe it or not, very soon. There's a lot of maintenance, you know, that you want to trust to a dealer, especially if you're not handy. Big motors, things like that, we start getting into electrical. But there's some things here that we're going to show you that anybody can do, and you really need to not only know how to do, but be prepared to do it. And one of them is as simple as making sure that your lugs are tight, but not over-tightened. You know, something like a, a nice uh, torque wrench is really important, but even more important is making sure that you have a socket, even if you're doing it the old school way, that will fit. So a thin wall socket is required for many of these boat trailers to actually get it in there and be able to fit around. So keep that in mind. Another thing is simply having a little tire inflator here. Obviously there's ways that are a little less tech to do this, but I found that having a cordless battery operated one like this is really nice for several reasons. I can't over inflate my tires. I can kind of just hook it up. It'll automatically shut it off at the desired pressure. Uh, but the other thing is we don't have to go back and forth with gauges, which are often very inaccurate. So we can hook this thing up and say, okay, this is what the pressure is. We know what you want to go to. We set it and kind of forget it. And it's also very easy maneuverable to keep that thing in the truck or what have you. Then the other thing is all this can relate to some battery issues. So make sure that you put your charger on, you know, if you have an onboard charger, plug that thing in. A lot of you guys, especially if you don't have a heated garage or not have access, something that looks like a small trickle charger will do wonders. Uh, make sure that you plug that in and just monitor that. But having an automotive style charger, depending on what type of batteries you have, especially if you have like an AGM or a wet cell, you may have to kind of wake up your charger. Onboard chargers, regardless of the brand, may not pick up a battery once it gets to a certain point of low charge. So you're gonna need to kind of give it a little jump start with something like this before then you plug in your onboard charger. You don't want to be that guy at the ramp that doesn't have his boat started and he's tying up the thing as he floats away. We've all seen that guy. Don't be him.